AbView NXT Tetrix Part 4 Shaft Encoders. The shaft encoders with your Tetrix kit come with very good instructions for assembling them onto the motors. Follow them very carefully and you shouldn't have any problems. Also, if you follow the instructions, this assembly should only take a few minutes. For some schools, you might have the shaft collar that you got from UAF. You should use that one instead of the one that comes with the kit. It will bolt onto the motor better. I didn't have the correct screws, so I had to use the one that was included in the kit. Last thing, connect the cable. One end connects to the shaft encoder. The other end connects to the motor controller. Motor 1 should go with encoder 1. Motor 2 should go with encoder 2. All right, we need to program this now as well. In your Tetrix palette, you will find a Tetrix Move a Fixed Distance block. That is what we're going to use. You'll see that it has a lot of inputs. It is almost like the just move a motor. You have three different options. Move one motor, move a group of motors at the same speed, or move multiple motors at different speeds. I chose group because I want it to drive forward a certain distance. So I'm going to give it an array of my two drive motors and their configuration numbers. I'm going to create a constant for when move completes, meaning that this we're going to stay in this block, we won't leave this block until it completes. Or the timeout finishes. So you have to tell it how long to wait for the block. How long do you think it will take to actually drive the distance you want it to go? And so I think I'm going to have it drive 10 feet. I think it's going to take about 7 seconds to do that. I want the motors to turn from their current position. I want to give it a speed. Let's try 75. Command U can clean up your code. And then the last little bit is the hard part. We need to figure out the encoder counts. Let's first start, though, by finding the number of degrees my, ne my wheels need to turn. The diameter of my wheel is 4 inches. So the circumference of the wheel will be the diameter times pi. 
I'm going to label the multiplication because the product will be the circumference. Then I want it to go about 10 feet, which is the same as 120 inches. I want to find how many times does that circumference go into 120. So 120 divided by the circumference. That will give us the number of rotations, the number of turns the wheel must make. So we have the rotations. I want the degrees. So I need to multiply the rotations by 360 degrees. That will give me the total number of degrees needed. Unfortunately, we're not done. We don't give degrees to this, we give it encoder counts. What is an, an encoder count? Let's check our detailed help. Scroll down. Encoder counts are quarter degrees. So if we wanted to turn one degree, we have to give it four for four quarters. So we need to multiply the number of degrees by four. That will give us the encoder counts. And then we can just wire this directly to our block. And we are ready to test out this program. Make sure you save your work. All right, I tested it. It didn't work. It was a little bit short. I remeasured my wheel, put it at three and three quarters inches. Make sure you're very careful when you measure. If you have a little bit of air, it will add up over time. All right. Testing it out, we'll see if it goes 10 feet. The tape measure is set out to 10 feet, and you can see that it worked. Your challenge is to make a sub VI that will find encoder counts. Test it by having your robot drive 6 feet.